everything. It was good, you know, it was good to see our team come out with some fire and some intensity, you know, some purpose to get better. Um, you know, uh, coach said that after practice, he didn't see any moping around, any dragging, you know. Everybody came out here with some intensity. It was good to see. It was good, it was good Tuesday practice. Probably our best this year. Coach said y'all were a little physical. We might, yeah. have, might have to take it easy the rest of the week. Yeah, yeah. We, we came out here flying around, uh, landing pads down. So it, it was good, in my, in my opinion. Where's the, oh, the mindset of, of, of the team right now? You know, you're, best you can finish a 6-6. Six six. Yeah, my mindset is just win. You know, mm -hmm. just do what we can to win. Win it. And, uh, you know, the, Obviously, it's it's for the seniors this week, you know. Okay. Uh, it's our last home game in the, in the dome, and Coach Wilson, the whole team, is just is just putting the purpose for the seniors. If you're not gonna do it for anybody else, just do it for the seniors, you know. Uh, so we're playing we're playing for the seniors this week, full heart for the seniors. What what uh, what jumps out at you about the Florida Atlantic offense? What's gotten your attention? Have you watched uh, they they got some good sp uh, skill guys, the speed, quarterback can put the ball on the money. You know we we just got to communicate well on defense with the with the, the safeties, the linebackers, and the D line. But we just got to communicate, run fast, and be physical in space. What did you see from the defense against Southern Miss? How do you review your guys' performance? Uh, we. We played an overall good, a good defensive game against Southern Miss. We just gotta just minimize, just nullify these, these uh, five plays here and there. You know, five plays out of the out of the, the 60, 70 plays we have, we let them gash. You know, if take those five plays away, they, they rush for not more than 70 yards. You know, but those those, those four to five plays kill us. You know, if, if we can take those away, we'll, we'll be good on, good on defense. What was missing on those plays, or how do you? Clean it's that just uh, mental toughness. You know. Uh, out of the full 60 minutes, three minutes of the game, he's got to he's got to dig in deep and mentally prepare, just be mentally tough for those three minutes, those five plays, and uh, it will be good. We just got to find a way to, to stay mentally tough the whole game. Let's put a whole the, game together. Excuse me. At this point, is it basically? I, I know, obviously, still play for a good old UTSA and the, and the fan base and your, your students, your student body. But at this point, though, you guys playing for yourselves? Of course. You know, where you, no. More than anything, let's just play for that's ourselves, why guys. That's for the whole yeah. season, really. You know, we're, we're, we're playing for the guys within our locker room, within, within our facility. You know, uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who comes to the game. Right. We love for the whole the whole San Antonio coming right. to the game, the whole student session coming to the game. If they do or not, we'll be okay. But uh, wh whoever does come in the game, we love them, we respect them, and we thank them for coming out. But we're going to play for UTSA football, the guys in our locker room. Do you have any idea what your emotions are going to be like on Saturday? <laughs> um, I'm gonna be ready to play. You know, my, my mind's gonna be on the game, but you know, we go out there for senior night and what have you. It's, it's gonna be some emotions, some, some a, little, a little bit of, a little bit of uh, reminiscing, some sadness, but I'll be okay. The, the team's be all right. We, we, we want to go out there and win this game. That's the most, the most important thing. Just winning this yeah. game. Considering everything that's happened, though, if you do win these, I know you're worried about this week, but say you finish six and six, you know, 500. Considering everything the team's been through, you know, you lost Frank, the guy that was supposed to be quarterback, and uh, that's not to say the well has done a good job and right. stuff. But would you take that six and six, six at, this, at this point? That means you win your last two games. The fact that hey, you know, after considering everything you went through, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, you want to win your last two games. Just just have the best have the best record possible at this point. Uh, but if we go when we go six and six, we're gonna look at it as the the team just being resilient, just fighting through adversity. Because yeah. we this team's been through a lot this year, this season. So. If, when we go six and six, it will just show our uh, just our toughness, our mental toughness, and our resiliency to, to fight through adversity. Carl, Carl, we saw a lot of Jamal Sam over the weekend. What have you yeah. heard of his development as his freshman year has gone on? Uh, just, just the dude is a he's a heavy hitter. You know, he gonna he gonna do what needs to be done. You know, he he's played safety. He's excelled at that spot. He's played corner. He's excelled at that spot. He's made plays everywhere on defense. So you know. Whatever we need to do on defense, have him do. He's going to do it without any questions. And then for you individually, you talked about it a little bit, but how do you reflect on your journey to this point at UTSA, working your way up from the special teams right, and right. to where you are now? You know, like, like you said, it's been a journey, you know, just making a name for myself on teams early on in, the, early on in my career here and then just working my way up the totem pole, you know, just, just making players when I have to, doing the things I need to do to, to make a name for myself and, uh, you know, just, just doing everything I can for the team. You're going to be good to be back at the Dome. Seems like it's been a year since y'all played there. <laughs> yes, it's, it's Well, but you good. played there last week. In right. fact, the two back-to-back -back right. games right. is what I'm going to say again. Yeah, I, I just... You weren't uh, ready to get on a bus or the bus again, yeah, right? Yeah, I yeah, can't wait to get back in the Dome, man. I, I love playing in there. Now that you can look back on it a little bit, what was it like sitting out last year? How has that impacted you guys you go through this season? That was tough. 
I was tough said not last year. Just seeing my guys go out there, go to battle without me having to help them at all. But last year, I took on that leadership role, trying to be a trying to be a voice for my guys, trying to be an ear for them to talk to, just give them advice. If I see something on the sideline to help them out, I go tell them when they come off the field. And this year, I used that knowledge I took from last year and try to implement that in my game this year. You know, I took kind of a a coaching role, a coaching eye last year on the sidelines, and, and, and that helped me this year. That helped me with game planning. That helped me with on-field communication. That just helped my game this whole year. So I take that as a, as a silver lining from last year. So you can really relate to what Frank Frank's gone through, right, Eric? It's, it's been tough on him, right? Yeah. I'm sure you talked to him. I say, hey, oh, of course, I've been yeah. there, brother. We were in the same the same spot last year. We, we had we had an injury, we had a medical rusher last year. Yeah. So we, we were always in the training room, always on the sideline talking. How are we gonna get through this, preparing yeah. stuff like that? You and him, yeah. We just kept we we just kept each other afloat, really. Are you gonna miss that being a vocal leader, being the guy that people look to when your time here is done? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna miss just being out here. Doesn't have, doesn't matter what I, what my role is out here. Just gonna miss being out here with the guys. You know, I, I could be I could be not playing and I still be missing it out here. I just uh, this team is gonna be a part of my life forever, so I'm gonna miss it. Be okay. part of the team. That's something. Else. Yeah. Well, you've made relationships that you'll. Course, when you're an old man course. like me, you're gonna still yeah. be calling these guys. Y'all will go to each other's weddings. Oh and yeah. Oh yeah. Everything else. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what is next for you after UTSA? Uh, well, hopefully, um, I'm trying to make endeavors to go to the next level, you know, trying to, trying to go to the NFL. But if that doesn't work out, uh, I have a backup plan. Me and my brother are going to open up our own little spot, our own little business. It's going to be a it's gonna be a gym slash physical therapy spot because he's training uh, or he's studying kinesiology hmm. down at Texas State. So when he graduates, we're going to open our own little yeah. gym, gym slash yeah. physical therapy spot. Okay. If you all want to train, hit me up. <laughs> I need it. Yeah. What's his name? Clayton Austin. Clayton. Okay. Cool. All right, man. Thanks, sir. Thank you.